Hi folks and welcome to today's video. Are you seeing how blue these waters are? Holy smokes! Look at this! This is unreal! Wow! The last time I was in Bora K, I don't remember the waters being this blue and that's because I was there during Lamont or algae season. But this is fantastic folks. Oh my goodness. It almost reminds me of um, similar to Nakapan Beach in El Nido or the beaches in El Nido. And this is September. This is mid-September. I think the exact date today is September the 20th. So if you're wondering uh, what the weather is like or... Ooh, speaking of the weather, that doesn't look too promising. I hope it's not incoming in this direction because uh, this way looks fantastic. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow, and the water is so hot. One second, one second, one second. Am I daydreaming here? Look at this. Oh my God, it's so warm. This is a paradise. So the plan today was for me to get a jet ski and possibly go along these beautiful shores. However, Kuya here tells me that uh, you can't actually ride a jet ski along uh, station two and station three. You have to go somewhere in that direction. It's not the same as Koh Samui where you could just go up to the beach and then rent a jet ski and then you're off and away around here. But uh, Kuya does say that the waters over there are really nice to do jet skiing too. However, the clouds in that area are pretty bad. I haven't eaten, so I'm gonna go grab something to eat and let's see how the weather turns out in about an hour's time. I'm thinking that these clouds are actually making their way here, but hopefully the sun's intensity dissipates in these clouds and it's a clear skies for the remainder of the day. Let's go find a motorbike taxi. Welcome to Station 2 folks, I've rode a tricycle here to come eat some, some of my favourite chicken from KFC. Um, but look at this, Station 2 is usually really really busy because this is where all the restaurants are etc. However there's hardly out, anyone out on the beach. Um, it looks like Boracay isn't very busy in this particular season of September. Um, and thankfully the huge big clouds have seemed to somehow disappear so there's no it looks like there's not going to be any rain today, hopefully, I'm hoping. Just look how clear the beaches are. Wow, even D Mall Avenue is completely empty. It looks like Boracay is on a really low season at the moment. It's absent of people. So if you're thinking about coming to Boracay in September, then yeah, now's the time if you want to get away from the crowds and experience the waters without many people. There's no one here. I mean, things are still functional, but it's just really quiet and peaceful. I like it. This is way better than when I was last here in April and it was like super busy. Even as you come out onto the main road, there would be like hundreds of trikes or people standing around right here at this junction. So we're gonna get this speedboat to somewhere over there where we're gonna get on the jet ski. We just paid for our ticket over there and it seems like it's a fixed price here. Three, eight, four, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm a blogger this way. Uh, whoa. Are you sure this boat can fit this many people? What if it capsizes? <laughs> oh. There we go. Is it hot now? Yep. Oh, my sandal! My sandal. Thank you, Bo. Good, yeah? Yeah, I'll sit here and then you can sit there. Yeah, buddy. It's very hot. That's okay, because when we start this time. Wow. <laughs> oh no! We're sitting right on the bow of the ship, so it's like the roughest. two or three minutes okay wow so it's this floating barge here where all the jet skis are etc and i guess there's this like perimeter which you can ride the jet skis around okay here we go are we gonna get on from the bell all right cool i got it all right Let's pick a good jet ski. Small breathing, let's go. 
Uh, it's WWE sir, our desk here is not covered by any insurance. Okay. Yeah, I got one wrong with our instructor to show you everything about the jet ski yeah, yeah. and show you also the jet ski area. Okay. Look at the whiteboard for our jet ski area. So big circles surrounded by the red flags. Ah, uh, the red flags. Yes, sir. So you, you uh, ride on the outside, yeah? Outside, sir. Okay. Only one direction to the back, but outside the flag. Only okay. clockwise. Okay. Yes, and then uh, counterclockwise. Okay. Inside the flag. Don't go inside the flag, okay? Just okay. only one direction to the back, outside the flag only. Uh, okay. And then when you're in the area, just keep this one also. Okay. Okay. And then this one also. Only well, my slippers, all right. Good. Big boy. Cool, you're going to show me a tutorial, yeah? Yeah. All right, hold on, what? Hold you, all right, cool. Just don't go too crazy, yeah? No, no, no. All right, bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I was like, don't go too crazy. How do you not have to move throttle? Oh, okay. And then the start button uh, in the front. The oh, main button, okay. just long press. Then okay. Start, okay. And then to uh, the right side. Throttle, the yeah. Uh, the throttle, okay? If you want to slow down, just release it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, man. Yeah, put on your rest, guys. Very okay. important. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
Wait, something's happened. A jet ski has been abandoned. I think somebody's injured. Is he knocked out? Oh my god. Hey, hey, don't, don't panic, don't panic. Guys, if I didn't jump in when I jumped in, I think uh, he would his body would have uh, just sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Holy crap. See, jet skiing, although it's uh, hella fun, you gotta be hella careful and you gotta listen to what these guys say because they know best. And I really wonder how he got into an accident. He was on this wave runner here on his black one. Wow, what a serious incident. I wanna go see what's going on. Stop, stop. Got it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I don't think that was 30 minutes, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, but... Uh, I want to check on the guy. Where's the guy? Already going to... Hospital? Italy, yeah. Oh, really? Already? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because going to impact. Where did he impact? Here? Yeah. Here? Yeah, maybe here. I think on the head. Yeah, I think. I think on the head, because yeah, I don't yeah. see any on the on the body, but I think on the head. You can see, you can see or no? Huh? You can see. I have to save him. Oh. I jump inside. I, uh, because, I, you know, his, I, I you know, his uh, life vest is like this, unclipped. Oh. And he slip out. And if I, <laughs> if I didn't help, uh, he would have sunk. I had to go inside and carry him. Holy shit. You do 360? No, I don't. No, no, the, the, the best. I'm not sure. All I see is the, the, no, no person. I'm not sure. Oh, really? On the handlebar? Yeah, handlebar. It's not broken though, is it? It's broken? No, no, no. I think it's a. There's a place on the steering. Uh, I didn't see the accident, but what the crews are speculated, I'm not sure if there was any eyewitnesses, is that uh, the guy on the jet ski, um, I think he tried to do a 360, and what ended up happening is he must have gone into a wake at really high speeds, and then the handlebar went into his, I guess his hip, his hip in between his um, lower intestines and his leg. I hope he's okay though. He's in safe hands now. They took him to the mainland on a speedboat as quick as possible, as soon as he got to this uh, floating barge. Like, I tried to come back like 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute later, he's already got taken to the nearby hospital. Crazy experience we've had. Welcome to my vlog. Hello, vlog. Welcome to my guys. Hello, my <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Well, today is officially my last day here on Boracay and on, I guess, the Panay province. Actually, Panay is not a province. Panay is an island. Anyway, the next video in which you see me will probably be back in BGC. But what? What an amazing two weeks we've had on Panay Island. We started off in Kalibo, Kim toured us around her hometown. And then I went to Antique. We went to um, the island of Marison, went to the Kawa Baths. I then headed down further south into the Ila Ila province. I stayed in that area for a couple of days. And then we made our way further northeast of the island to uh, try and visit Gigantes, but we kind of failed. And then we went all the way back around to Kalibo and then we've come to Cataclan to finish the trip off. So folks, if you've enjoyed this travel series over the last two weeks, you know what to do. You need to subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and tell your friends and family to also subscribe. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and bye from Boracay.